I'd like to show you some order of operation problems. Let's start with 10 times negative 3 plus the square root of 49. Well, order of operations says that you first do everything inside of the parentheses and then you do exponents and then you do multiplication and division in order from left to right and then you do addition and subtraction in order from left to right. So as I look at this, I do have a set of parentheses, but there's nothing going on inside my parentheses. They're using those parentheses just to separate the negative sign from the multiplication sign. So I don't need to worry about the parentheses. So I really have um, some multiplication right here, some addition, and I have a square root. Well, where does square root fall in? Um, Square roots are the same order as exponents, so we would do them right after parentheses, which means the square root is first. The square root of 49 is 7, because 7 times 7 is 49, so I'm going to put the 7 right underneath that, and then I'm going to copy down the rest of the problem exactly how it is. Now I have multiplication or addition. Well, I would do multiplication before addition. So 10 times negative 3. Well, positive times a negative is a negative. And 10 times 3 is 30. Copy down the rest of the problem. And finally, I'm going to do the addition last. Negative 30 plus 7. I'm going to think in my head I'm starting at negative 30 on the number line and then I'm going to go in a positive direction, 7 spaces. So I'm going to land at negative 23. So my answer is negative 23. Okay, let's try another one. Let's do the square root of 4 plus 60. Well, what do I do here? Because I don't have parentheses, but I can't do the exponent because there's addition going on underneath the exponent. I'm sorry, the square root sign. So you think of if there's anything going on underneath the square root sign or the radical, then you think of that like a set of parentheses. So that means I need to do this addition first which would be 4 plus 60 is 64, and bring down the rest of the problem, which is just the square root sign. And then the square root of 64 is 8, because 8 times 8 is 64, so there's my answer. Okay, let's, um, let's try another one. 6 times negative 5 squared plus the square root of 36. Okay, so here I have a situation where I have an exponent with some parentheses and I have a square root. Well, they're both the same level. Exponents and square roots are the same level in order of operations. So I'm going to do them in order from left to right. Okay, so I'm going to deal with this first, the exponent. Now when you have an exponent outside of the set of parentheses, it's saying that you need to take whatever is inside those parentheses to the second power. And what's inside those parentheses is a negative 5. So I'm going to do negative 5 times negative 5. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive. So my answer is going to be positive. I don't need to write down a positive sign. And 5 times 5 is 25. And then I'm going to copy down the rest of the problem. Well, the next thing I'm going to do is the um, square root of 36. That's the next order of operations. The square root of 36 is 6 because 6 times 6 is 36. And then I'm going to copy down the rest of the problem. So now I have multiplication and addition. Well, multiplication comes before addition, so I need to do 6 times 25. Well, if I wanted to do that in my head, I could think of quarters, because 25 is like a quarter. If I had 6 quarters, I would have a $1.50. So 6 times 25 must be 150. 
and then bring down the rest of the problem and finally do the addition 156. So there are some order of operation problems.